Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas day two. Marmy is so excited for Vlogmas. Aren't you, Marmy? She got on the recliner this morning. What a crazy thing that was. I filmed it. I'll put it in now, actually. Marmy on a recliner. What a nut. The nutty dog. You almost tipped the whole thing over. <laughs> I didn't get her getting on there, which was kind of funny because she she uh, <laughs> tipped over the whole thing when she stepped well, on it. Didn't, like, tip backwards, it's like tipped she, forward. Tipped forward and it closed, and she was like, "Yeah." Like, I her eyes and she looked so terrified. <laughs> Crazy Marmy. Crazy Marmy. You wanted to be just like Becca, didn't you? She was getting all the attention on the chair. Madison is home today, first day back to school, and there was a shooting threat. Gotta love this age we live in now, where the kids have to be terrified to go to school because it's going to be shot up. So, Lily wanted to take her chances. I tried to get her as well, but she wouldn't leave. So, I don't know if we have anything Christmassy going on today. I mean, we'll have our Christmas. Sauerkraut's pretty Christmassy. Mm, Maddie's making some brats and sauerkraut for her brunch. This is when you normally eat lunch at school, though, isn't it? <laughs> I, I eat lunch at 10 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yummy. To go to my office, um, bring that little t table thing over there and some other stuff. Just uploaded my first video. It just went live. You've already seen it, hopefully. And I don't know if we're going to do anything Christmassy. We'll decorate some more and ask a Christmas question. And I guess we'll see how the... Oh, goodness. Very blurry. I guess we'll see how the day goes. ready for a Reiki session. <laughs> what are you doing, Mad? Just trying to get some points. Trying to get some points. To get some van stuff. So we went to my office. We didn't know if we should lock the door when we left or not because we didn't know if the other person was still there. That happened the last time I was there too. Now we're going to Publix. We went to Chipotle. Maddie wanted some Chipotle, and now we're going to Publix and maybe the Hallmark store. It's one o'clock. We got to get Lily in an hour. It's really cool today. <laughs> Maddie didn't wear a coat, and she's freezing. She never wears a coat. So what happens when you live in the South? You don't wear a coat, even though it's freezing, and anywhere else in the country you'd wear a coat. <laughs> So Grammy and I went over to this little gift shop called Parsons Gifts. I don't think it's a chain, is it? Is it just the one here? No, there's one somewhere else. Yeah, there is. I don't know where. Atlanta or someplace. But it's the same owners? Yeah. So it's just like a little small business gift shop. But anyway, they have all this cute Christmas stuff, which I showed you guys in the videos. And they have a special deal, like every day this month it's going to be different. And if you follow them on Instagram or Facebook, you can find out ahead of time what it is. Today's deal was, uh, if you spend $15, you get this cute snowman scarf for free. It's really cute. So, see if you can see it. See how cute it is? Normally $10 for the scarf. Anyway, Grammy spent $15 and got the free scarf and gave it to me. Wasn't that sweet? 
Since I wear scarves all the time, I can be Christmassy. Biggie, where's your ball? <laughs> Good girl. It's so freaking cold today. Oh my gosh. I'm a little overwhelmed with the decorating this year. It's kind of hard decorating a different house. I don't know where to put stuff. So I just as soon not start than try to figure it out. That's too much mental work. And I'm supposed to be avoiding mental work. Oh look, we got our first Christmas card from our friend B. <laughs> That's pretty. Setting up the little Hanukkah menorah display area here. Grammy has pictures of all her Jewish grandchildren on this table with all the Hanukkah stuff. And we have a good fortune frog here. I think it's there so that the dogs don't eat it. It's usually by the front door. Look at this cute little Ollie bear. Staying warm on a blankie. Such a cold day today, isn't it, Ollie? What do you think, Puggy? Is it cold today? Is it cold today? Where are you? There you are. Hello. We have three of these meese, and we don't know where to put them. They're all different, but the same. They must be related. Alrighty, we dropped Maddie off at her practice. She has winter guard practices now. Uh, we didn't know she was having one today, actually. It was a uh, surprise. But um, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays she has winter guard practice. But she has one today, and she's done at 8 o'clock tonight. I think it's almost time for our wine advent calendar time. Yay! Wine time! I'm a little tired, actually. Wouldn't mind taking a little nap. But I don't nap, so I won't. Hopefully Emma's doing her schoolwork. You doing your schoolwork, Em? Looks like you're doing your schoolwork. Chemistry. Fun. There's some elves on the stairs. I found the elf house, but I don't know where I'm going to put it. So it's right here in the butler's pantry right now. So I have a whole bunch of these little birds that are all different. Except I can't find them, but I think they'll look cute on this table. I'm going to go in search of them now. What do you have, Beagie? I can't decide if it's easier to just bring everything in and have it all here and then find places for it all, or if it's better to go and look for specific things that I know where I want to put. It's all a little hectic with the decorating. But anyway, here in the garage are all my containers of Christmas stuff. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 containers, all filled with Christmas. So I have to look through all of them to find, here's my Pluto popcorn bucket. Oh, I wish I could get the tree one this year. It's so cute. My little snowman for the bathroom. <sighs> Searching for birds. Guess what everyone, it's time for our wine advent calendar. Woo! Best time of the day. Today we are having, what is it? Girl and Dragon Malbec. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. There's a big dragon on the cover there, the label, and a girl. Girl and Dragon Malbec. I don't know if it has a year. I can't see it with my glasses on. 
So that's what we're tasting. Got our Christmas wine glasses. Oh, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Let's taste it. I didn't swirl it. I haven't had Malbec in a long time. Mm, I like Malbec too. Mm hmm. Puppies. 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 You have too many treats. You're not ready to eat your dinner when it's time. You think about our treats. <laughs> We're filling up on treats before dinner. Bad puppies. Grammys are supposed to be the soft juice, but not this grammy. <laughs> Rules matter. It's not bad. It's a little sour, but I don't know if it's from what I last ate. Hmm? I said it has a little bit of a sourness, but I'm not sure if it's from what I last ate. Grammy will be able to tell better if she just ate a pretzel. Mm -hmm. That's very palate cleansing. All right, Grammy's going to try this wine. Girl and Dragon Malbec. It does have a year on it. I can't see it. From Argentina. Skull. Oh, Skull. Tastes like Malbec. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes Taste good. I think my taster's a little off. Mm. I don't know why. I don't know why. Might have needed the pretzel. Huh? Might have needed the pretzel. Because yeah. sometimes red wine just grabs you on that first taste. Yeah. Mm. I forget. What, I always confuse Malbec and Zinfandel. I feel like Zinfandel Malbec is smoother. Yeah, I feel like it's and a little heavier. Isn't Malbec usually like smoky, or is that Zinfandel? Mm, Zinfandel is usually the plums and the heavy, the heavy stuff, but rich. Mm -hmm. And Malbec is too. It's just a little lighter than Zinfandel. Mm. And it, and that's exactly what this is. Mm, okay, I'll tell you what it says on the label. It says. 2018 product of Argentina we fly the world looking for new adventures in wine this Malbec is made from Argentina's most famous grape lush complex magical the dragon and I dare you to take a sip be fearless I think it's good girl and dragon but it is lighter than a, is yeah there? it's tasty Tasty, tasty. No cheese it, today. Maybe it needed that pretzel first. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat a pretzel. Marmy, don't take my seat when I get up. We all know you're a seat thief. Just gonna do her circles. Are you still filming? Oh, just one, yeah. I wonder what Christmas movie Maddie and I will watch tonight. I wonder if she'll be too tired to watch a Christmas movie after practice mm, she did have a good nap this afternoon I'm kind of leaning towards Klaus since Mary said she liked it so maybe we'll watch that one Rudolph is on tonight but I think it's on at probably at 8 o'clock which is when I have to go get Madison from practice so I think we'll miss it we have it on DVD though Jamie and I have been trying to come up with recipes for the hors d'oeuvres to serve at our 1920 slash 2020 uh, New Year's Eve party. So uh, if any of you have any ideas for, you know, little bite appetizers that you can pass around on trays, we'd love to hear them. Jamie's making one of our favorite dinners tonight. Susanna Fu. Susanna Fu. Pork stir fry. Poblano mm. peppers and red peppers and grapes and grapes <laughs> scallions and garlic 
Mm. Look at how amazing this looks. Mm. And it's gonna get better. Ooh. The grapes are my favorite part. The girls don't like the grapes, but they're so good. We got Maddie and uh, one of these days I'm going to, one of these nights, I'm going to walk around the neighborhood and show you guys all the lights around the neighborhood because almost everyone in this neighborhood puts up Christmas lights. We have to go the long way every time we come home because there's this one house on the corner down the street that has like 20 blow ups, but they haven't had them up yet and they still don't have them up so we're always driving by to see if they're blown up and out yet but they're not they're still not i don't know why we think that maybe the guy's out of town from thanksgiving or something but they haven't been up since he, the day he put them up which was way before thanksgiving i know I, well i think he was waiting till after thanksgiving but then he's not home that's what about, i don't know i mean there's no reason they wouldn't be on today all the houses around them are all lit up all right it's nine o'clock already we gotta go watch our movie what are we watching, Maddie? What are we watching? Klaus? We're watching Klaus. Let's see if we can find it. Come on, get up there, Marmy. Come on, up on the chair. Go all the way up. Go on, Marmy. Go on up on there. All right, we're ready to watch Klaus. The heck is Klaus? Who has seen it? Klaus. We think it must be Scandinavian because it's a K, Klaus. Maddie, you excited? Hello. You excited to see Klaus? Yes. I finally squeezed into this chair with Maddie and realized we don't have the remote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, Grammy found it, thank goodness. We really squeezed in yeah, here. <laughs> right. I don't, I don't know. Puggy has joined us. At least she won't tip over the end. Don't think you're coming up here. Oh you no. You're to the end. Did you start it? No. Oh, you gotta pay attention. Make it a little louder. This movie is so cute. Klaus reminds me of Mikey. Do you remind you of Mikey, Maddie? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think, Mad? It was cute. The ending was kind of sad. I'm crying. <laughs> it was, it was sad happy, though. Sappy. Sappy. Is that what, ha is that what sappy means? Sad happy? Just little take her pill. No. Here she comes. <laughs> hey, so we've um, done all our stuff for today, and I have to go edit my video so that I can upload it before I go to bed. But um, <laughs> Grammy's finding clothes from the 1920s that she still has in the closet for us to wear. On New Year's Eve it's from the 90s. This, Daddy, put it back on. Put it back <laughs> on so that. No, I, I don't I want to see it. Not for the video, so Matt, so Lily can Lil. see it. I was going to turn this one on. Yeah, you try it on, Lily. Come on. Yeah, Lily. Put them on. Put them on at the same time, Lily. Try them on. So, so, anyway, our question for today is Have you ever, Matt, are you listening? Yes. What's that? Oh, I cut off part of it. Ooh. I'm still crying from that movie, Klaus. I highly recommend. Thanks, Mary, for recommending it. We watch it. It was really good. The question for today, the Christmas question for today is, have you ever built a gingerbread house? Yes. You have. Multiple times. I have built many a gingerbread house well, in my really. day. Never goes well. The pre All the way back you know, from when I was a kid, I feel like I've built them you know, when I was a kid on milk cartons where you put the graham crackers onto mm -hmm. the milk carton. I mean, that would work, but you know, what <laughs> we did was we got like these pre-made kits yeah. and they didn't stick together very well. So yeah. I recommend using actual gingerbread. You know, have you seen, if you've been to Disney, if you've seen her oh my Christmas gosh. vlogs, yeah. they make a mean gingerbread house at the beach club. They do.
And the Grand Floridian. It's not a house at the beach club. What is, oh, that's the carousel? That's the carousel. Yeah. No, wait. Beach club's the carousel. Yeah. There used to be a, um, a bake shop in the boardwalk. Yeah. But it wasn't there the last time we were there at Christmas time. Grand Floridian has a really cool gingerbread yeah. house. Yeah, life-size gingerbread house. And can't you buy house. chunks of it? Yes. It's really good. But you can buy them at all of them. Yeah. It's really good. You should go. If you go to Disney during... What? Christmas, if you go to Disney during Christmas time, you should check that out. Yeah, you definitely should. Anyway, so that's our question to you. Have you ever built a gingerbread house? And what kind of gingerbread house was it? Like, traditional or fancy? Graham extra cracker. super... Graham crackers stuck on a milk carton. <laughs> that was when I was in Girl Scouts, okay? Mm -hmm. What can I say? Anyway. Oh, that's cute. Aww. Oh, nice. Cute. You could wear that easily. I'm not going to put the other one on. That's so weird. That's not... How is that 20? It is because it's got this It's got shoulder bottom. pads. <laughs> it does have shoulder pads. <laughs> it's from the 80s. It's from the 80s. <laughs> but the silhouette is kind of... The silhouette is 20s. Anyway. I don't want to. Try on... Really Maddie, you should go try it on. Maddie, try it no. on. Maddie, Just so no. she can try see the silhouette. No, no. I'm... Maddie, go try it on. I don't want to wear it again. All right, I'm going to sign off so that we can... Ed so we can. So I can edit this video and get it uploaded. Yeah, I get a picture, Maddie. <laughs> He's taking pictures of him in these outfits. Anyway, um, remember, it's not about what's under the Christmas tree. It's about who's around it. Have a great night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Merry Christmas.